this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy. Today we are going to make a hole in a slab. We have been working with students using ARCHICAD for several years and it's interesting to note that the same questions are asked all the time and this is one that stumps some people. In order to make a hole in a slab we're going to create some geometry. We'll go over to our toolbox and using this wall tool we're going to start in this quadrant and uh, aligning with the guidelines use directional input to input our walls. I'm going to say this one is 30 feet. No need to put in the foot marker because this defaults to feet. So if I wanted 30 feet 7 inches for instance I could put 30-7 or other variations of that, that and that would still work. Let's go into the navigator which is a wonderful tool and take a look at what we drew we have some walls that we drew and uh, in 3D. Let's go back to the first floor and let's go ahead and put a slab uh, or a slab on our building. I'm going to call up my magic wand. Magic wands are very cool by holding down the spacebar and selecting the outside wall and now if I take a look at this in 3D when you have 3D it's amazing how often you look at it as a tool. It's uh, a wonderful uh, tool for producing architecture. Let's go back to the first floor. Now let's go ahead and say we wanted a second floor on this. If I double click on the second floor we can see nothing. We have no idea where the first floor is so that's why it's pretty awesome. You can right click on the first floor and say show as a trace res reference. Now I just merely call up my magic wand again with the wall tool, holding down the space bar. I'm going to select an inside wall now and looking at it I should have walls. I have a second floor. Let's go ahead now back on the second floor and we'll go ahead and put in a slab as well on this. And now we have two stories with uh, a floors on each story. Now typically what might happen is we have students that go ahead because they're very very smart and they aren't afraid to try anything and before they know anything about what they uh, what we're working with they will go over and say I think what I want to do is put in some stairs. <coughs> There's um, stairs are a whole subject unto themselves so we're just gonna pick some straight stairs right now and I'm going to put them right there. This uh, program is so wonderful to work with. If you get uh, to know the tools that it has, it's very consistent in its tools. For instance, if I want to edit or move those stairs, if you want to edit anything at any time, you go up here to the arrow. I use a magnet because as I wander across things, it identifies them. That's the slab. I want to move the stair. Then you uh, select a grip and that brings up a palette or a pal. So this is my little palette or pal and I can t uh, then do ver uh, whatever is on that pal I'm, is available for me to use uh, with this item. Let's go to a generic perspective. You can see the stairs coming up through the second floor. Let's do one more thing. Let's uh, using a hotkey control L let's go down to our walls exterior and make them into a wireframe so that we can see the issue. And what happens is the students want to be able to walk up those stairs. Let's go back to the uh, second floor here and what we need to do is edit that slab. If we want to edit anything at any time we make sure everything's cool here. Select this in order to get the tools we uh, that are available to edit for the slab. I hit a grip I want to take out material so I'm going to use that minus and I can take out materials by drawing lines various there's various options up here but I'm going to make a box when I see a check mark I am on a intersection and now if I look at this I have a hole in an intersection let's say that you want to do a circular hole you can do a guideline with a circle and then do the same thing. Trace around that and you have a hole in a, um, a circular hole for a spiral staircase. Slabs are used for a lot of different purposes, not just for slabs. You can use them uh, for sidewalks, driveways, all kinds of things. 
um, there's no end to it. But that's how you make a hole in a slab. Again, my name is Stephanie Kwame. I'm with the Cat Academy, www.thecatacademy.com. We will be publishing a series of little helpful snippets like this. If you find that this helpful, please let me know. And thanks for listening.